to know what happened to this horse, you guys. Explain it to me. Explain to me where this quiet, calm horse came from. So the reason the girls are riding today on Saturday is because they want to get their horses used to this arena, get them used to life because they'll be riding in lessons, or at least Sophie will be riding in lessons. I think Gabby is going to continue riding Grayfin in lessons and then Chino in private lessons. Yeah, she's in love with this horse. In love with him. Yeah, the door is wide open. All right. One horse done. Well, look at how small that horse is compared to Chino. Holy moly. And he's big. Chino's like, come on, treats too. And he's getting really good dropping his head, she said. She likes to ask him for, she likes to ask him to drop his head from the walk. <laughs> okay, I'll just scratch first. <laughs> So I read it, some of the comments today and somebody was saying like, why the heck are you keeping Finn if get, Sophie's afraid to ride him? He has so much potential from other people. And I get that question a lot. And what I want to say is that she is more brave riding Finn than any other horse. Most people who ride horses, especially at a young age, will have things that scare them or will have things that make them nervous they won't just be brave at everything that they do and also most people who ride horses will go through fearful times sophie is super brave on finn has so much trust in him and enjoys riding him more than any other horse and it's okay to have times of confidence crashes all people go through them but she loves finn I feel they're completely suited to one another and she's she's learning on him still he's learning on her with her and she's learning on him so that's my answer to that she loves him we are so grateful to have him we do too we also think that she he is a, we also think that he is a super gifted horse and are so grateful to have him sophie is so grateful to be learning on him uh somebody else said that she's outgrown him we don't feel that she's outgrown him our trainers Yeah, mom and dad are not good at tacking up their horses. Uh, same with Chino. We we love Chino, and we're we feel super grateful to have Chino. I feel God, I feel like God guided us buying our horses. To be honest, hold on, stay, Chino, stay. Don't move, Chino. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I feel like fresh Chino is gone. Also, people were telling us yesterday, or also another comment was, Chino was not fresh in his first ride here. Did you feel Chino was fresh? It looks slower in the video. In the video. Like, the videos make every, videos are two-dimensional. Is that what it's called? You know what I say? Oh, I got it. A horse and rider that learns to ride together makes the best team. Yeah, I because agree. exactly the same. Yeah. I learned that from... Black Beauty. From Black Beauty. Sophie watched Black Beauty the other day. That's awesome, Sophie. A horse and rider that learn to ride together make the best team. That's why me and Finn are doing so good. Yeah, and I think that they're doing well too. Also, um, Chino was so fresh and you guys couldn't see it in the video. When we watched the video back, we're like, what the heck happened to him? He was going around so fast, but the video didn't show it that fast. And that is Chino's freshness. He's such a calm horse that's as fresh as he gets. He doesn't get much more fresh than that. Forward Chino is fresh Chino. We'll see if he's forward today. All right, this is not a good spot because too much sun. Don't forget you guys, when we post videos, we only post small portions of our video, of our ride. Like somebody was talking about how Sophie only did so much groundwork or no. Someone said, someone was saying about how Sophie only did so much uh, warm up, blah, blah, blah. Got, Sophie literally has been out here warming up while Gabby was still tacking up. So I only post little tiny bits of it. She, our kids do like a long warm up, long warm up. How's he feel? How's he feel? Forward? He still looks forward to me. So I think I found the problem with Chino. 
I think the problem with Chino is that he was exercising himself in the field, in that big, huge field, all day long. And then when we got him, somebody told me he's not tired at this barn. I guess he's a little warm. Yeah, he's not tired. I think that was the problem. I think he, he doesn't, can't handle a big field because he tires himself out. What? Gabby says she's used to riding the other horse now. It's hard to get used to riding, like, go from one horse to the next. You want to ride him in lessons? Yeah, you can ride with the big group of girls. And ride Grafe in in your private lesson? All right, she wants to ride Grafe in in lessons and Chino in her private lesson. And that's okay if that's what she wants to do. He might be forward because Gabby has a whip. Having the boys here and having our lessons here is going to save us so much time because we used to have to ride them, at, ride our boys at the other barn, then come to this barn. And so, like Mondays, we would ride our horses at the other barn, and then we would come here and have lessons. But now we can just not ride here, like ride our horses on Monday. We can just come here on Monday for lessons. So I'll have more time for Penny, which I'm really excited about. No, he looks good. So for the last, since September, so for the past three months, Gabby's had to work on walk, trot only. And she's just started back into canter. So she just been, has just been doing the last couple of rides, a small amount of canter at the end of a walk, trot session. And he's doing really well. And she hasn't been jumping at all since September, so she'll be starting jumping soon, probably. Just tiny little cross rails at the end of a lesson. But I like to see him moving again. I'd love to see him. Brandon will, so Brandon will be able to give us lessons again on him and really bring him back up, get her riding forward and get her riding him on the forehand better. No, get her off riding him on the forehand. She knows, like, I'm home. I want exercise. Like, when I look at Chino moving, he looks so fast. And then I look in the camera, so slow. Like, he... He's forward, is basically what I'm saying. Like, he's actually moving. Sure release. He's very strong today. Finn is not as good today. We took him away from his girlfriend. So one thing about Finn that I love too is that he's not like, he never tries to buck her off. Well, he used to, <laughs> remember? Remember that day he just stood on the ground and shook his whole body over and over and over again until she fell off? Just kept shaking and shaking until she fell off. But he doesn't do any of that stuff anymore. Like he's just, I really do think he loves her. so fast. Sometimes I hold onto the saddle. I don't even hold onto the race. I hold onto the saddle because on grass when I read up, he dead stops and then he slips and then he falls down.
I love him, Gabby. You guys notice I always cut off Gab Sophie's head because I don't really care about her, only the horse. <laughs> Just kidding. But I do love these guys so much. I feel so grateful that Chino is happier. Yeah. You need to do his bridal path. It's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Don't you know that you're beautiful?